the chief whip of the Senate and former governor of Abia State, Senator Oji Uzo Khalif, says that the Southeast is not being marginalized and the appointment of service chiefs by the President Muhammad Buhari from one particular region is justified. The chief whip of the Senate said this while addressing journalists in Abuja. According to him, the security is very important that the President can decide to work with whoever he trusted, irrespective of what part of the country he came from. Uh, President Buhari have tried now, I'm not talking in terms of appointment or because the constitution says that every state should have one minister. That is statutory. When I see people, it's good to also spread the service chiefs, which I would like people in the Senate to bring a bill. So we can make a bill that every region must have a service chief. Eh? But when you look at it, service chief is like personal staff of the president. They are not really constitutionally owned. Because you can only work with military men you trust. That is the truth. Whether you want to hear that or not, I can take you to memory lane. All the people that have been heads of state, they just did the same thing the president did. So there's nothing new. Who was uh, President of Bassanjo's national, uh, national director of SSS? He was called El Are. He's not from my village. Who was uh, President Jonathan's director of SSS? He was Ekpenyon. He's not from my village. So everybody goes back to his region. It might not be the best, but that is the trend. Because everybody wants to be in control of his security. Speaking on the Ruga settlement proposed by the federal government center, Oji revealed that he pioneered Ruga in Abia State when he was governor of the state between 1999 to 2007. The chief also revealed that he traded in cow, adding that it was wrong for people to see cow business as exclusivity of Fulani. People talk about Ruga. Ruga is not an issue for anybody to be discussed. In 2001, I did a Ruga in Abia. Yes, it's true. In Lokbata, I built the whole cows were being sold in Obaya and Aba. In 2001, when I became governor, I called the Hausa community and they called me. I said, Omaya, Aba, we need to decongest because it's not a city. Where you have shop rights in Omaya today, it's, uh, it used to be cow settlement. If anybody knows that. The same thing with Abba. But I had a, an honest meeting with them. I said, I'm going to be providing you land. I'm going to be providing you water, electricity, everything. But this is where we are going to do. I collected five coastal buses. I said, bring your leaders. I'll join with some of your executives. We will go and see this land. If it's agreeable by all of us, I call the communities. We had meetings, we had meetings, and the communities say yes, allow them to come. The Rock Panther. And that is the biggest cow market in eastern, both south, south, and southeast of Nigeria. It's the biggest cow market today. So, it's attitude of people to issue. Federal government should always do a further consultation when they want to do something. Because if you just go back and put a deliberate policy and say, I want to do Ruga. People in my village, they, where they don't understand what Ruga is. They will fear and say, oh, they want to kill all of us. But if they have just told them, after all, some of us are the largest sellers of cows. I started selling cows as far back as nine, when I was in the university. I'm still selling cows till tomorrow. <laughs> because it's profitable. So, most of the cows you see are also not owned by Hausa Fulani in our area. We work on the people, all the people area. We, we trade on cows. According to a many Nigerian elite, have cows and they are interested in that business. In view 
of constant complaint of poor service delivery and drop call on part of network provider in Nigeria, the Senate has directed the Nigerian Communication Commission to effectively supervise telecom companies to ensure improved quality service. On a motion raised during the plenary on Thursday by Senator Representative Oyonot Abdul Fattah and 34 other lawmakers. The Senate is wading into the matter, saying the telecom provider have not invested enough to improve the, their qualities of service. Worry that all GSM operators in Nigeria have recently been experiencing terrible congestion on their network, thus denying subscribers the benefit of getting value for their resources, hampering their ability to make or receive calls successfully. Observe that operators also have an unfair advantage with drop calls from per minute user as callers end up paying for the entire minute if a call drops in between, especially within the first few seconds. Worried also that subscriber expectation that the quality of service delivery provided by the GSM network operator improves as the network mature have been ruined. Further observe that despite the warning issued by the NCC on the activities of telecom operator using the drop call mechanism to defraud Nigerians by deducting money from phone users illegally, no serious sanction penalty has been used, issued against any operator to date. The regulatory body has the bulk of blames. The lawmaker says Nigerian Communication Commission owes Nigeria some explanation. Mr. President, this motion and this content is a clear exposition of the abuse to which the sensibility and the responsibility of the Nigerian people and government is subjected to by our service providers. Let me say, Mr. President, that in consider considering this motion, we must strongly recommend and follow up a process of sanctions. As has been said, our regulatory agencies are just not doing enough, and that is a very embarrassing situation for Nigeria. As it is now, what it means is that Nigeria is a country where anything goes. We travel out of this country to other countries. If you go to Ghana here, Mr. President, they cannot register your SIM card, even by the same MTN, for you to use unless they have a proper documentation by the use of either your international passport or your ID card. But here we are. Drop calls have become a problem. Registration of SIM cards have become a problem. Uh, the issue of our GSM in this country since inception to date, in my view, is a sad one because in my view, it is no longer dividend of democracy, but it is dividend of credit. Why do I say so? This is the country that when we have GSM up here today, all our fixed lines are virtually dead. And we only use GSM to transact businesses in this country, which is the most expensive form of communication. And to this extent, you know, a lot of our businesses, you know, are posting, you know, very high cost because of this cost of uh, 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 GS. While reading on the motion, President of the Senate, Ahmad Lawa says it will no longer be business as usual, as ineffective network operators may have to be blacklisted if need be. We pay through our nurses. We are unjustifiably treated as a nation by these operators. In fact, Everybody comes here to treat us disfavorably differently. The DSTV, these cable channels, and others do almost the same thing that the operators, uh, telecom operators do. We are going to have, at the appropriate time, a public hearing. And uh, our regulatory agency, the NCC, will also be put to task. We feel they are inefficient or even possibly ineffective. They have not done enough. And uh, to respond to the frustration expressed by some of our colleagues that we can only back but not bite, we are going to back and bite this time around. We'll definitely do the right thing. And if it requires blacklisting an operator, we'll go for that. With this, 
I think it will be an effort and an attempt by the Senate to protect Nigerians, and that's why we're here. The Senate has also directed NCC to invoke appropriate provision of the law to protect consumer and refund calls of disrupted calls. Discover the tangible magic of our hospitality that is all about you. The world's cutting hotel and apartments is a surey fantasy like journey into a glamorous world of pure luxury and gratifying indulgence. The world's cutting hotel and luxury apartments offers guests a perfect blend of realization, business, and pleasure, delicately infused to meet the highest international standards. Its first class service at its finest. Our commitment to exceed your expectations means impeccable attention to detail, courtesy, and a genuine care for your every need. Located at number 8 Gadunasco Street of Joseph Martin at Sokoro, Abuja, Nigeria. You can call us on plus 234-908-7561269 or visit our website at wellscouting.com. Upgrade your stay at the Wells Cutting Hotel and Luxury Apartments, an experience guaranteed to leave you breathless with longing. Most tropical issue in River States and Niger Delta today. OML 25 Oil Mining Lease 25 located in swampy and shallow water. A crew of Kola Territorial. We have over 3, 3 billion cubic feet of gas plant just behind us here. You can see the school we are, we are using for this year. It's a continual effort. The multinational company claimed to spend over $300 million in the development of the host's communities. The Foyama community is a contributory to the over 200,000 barrels of oil and about 200 million cubic feet of gas. So if government really want to make peace, they should invite the, the authentic, the legitimate owners of that place. So personally, I cannot go against the wishes of my people. I must go with them. And seeing the suffering they have been suffering, which I am also suffering, I would not like Shell to come back. Since the shutdown of the facility, over three years, Nigeria has lost over $7 billion several attempts by the oil multinational company to reopen the facility has been unsuccessful in Kola river state i am mildred from ben tv the central bank of nigeria cbn has again intervened in the retail secondary market intervention sales with the sum of 298.71 million dollars in addition to 39.69 million chinese yen in the sport and short tenured forward segment of the interbank foreign market the director of corporate communications department at the bank isaac okurafo who disclosed this said the intervention in United States dollars, just as in previous transactions, were to meet requests in the agricultural and raw material sectors. Similarly, the transaction in Chinese yuan were for reinvest dominated letters of credit. Okurafo also reiterated the satisfaction of the bank's management with the stability in the forex market, stressing that the bank will continue to make necessary interventions in order to ensure liquidity in the Nigerian foreign exchange market. He said the bank was further encouraged by the improved inflow of foreign exchange, which has kept the exchange rate around the 360 naira to a dollar for close to 13 months. Akura for all Nigerians to continue to support the policies of the CBN aimed at boosting the production capacity of local industries as well as creating jobs for citizens.